Hello guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So as you all know, TCS NQT is around the corner and TCS is hiring. So we Code Bashers are here with some numerical and quantitative questions from previous year TCS NQT exam. So as you all know, the best way to practice for any exam is to solve as many previous year questions as possible. So go along with the video. Uh, maybe these questions can be asked in your uh, next exam and similar questions can be asked. So uh, if you face any problem with the questions and if you have any query regarding the TCS NQT exam, feel free to write to us in the comment section. Also you can join our telegram channel. So we have a dedicated telegram channel for the 2026 batch. So if you are applying for TCS NQT or if you are applying for Infosys, Accenture, Cognizant or any on-campus hiring and if you want to discuss with us or, you, or with the fellow people on Telegram, so you can join our Telegram 2026 batch. We have a community of people who are giving similar exams as you are. So let's get started with the first question. First question says, shopkeeper bought a lamp for 1200 rupees. So cost price will be 1200 rupees for the lamp. So we can write cost price can be 1200. And the ratio of its cost price and marked price. So marked price you can also say as selling price is 3 is to 5. So cost price by selling price equal to 3 by 5. Which is further cost price is 1200 by selling price so with this equation you can easily calculate the selling price so selling price came out to be 2000 so uh, now selling price came out to be 2000 now it was sold after two successive discounts of 30 percent and 18 percent and incurred a loss of pro or profit of x percent find x so it is saying that a person brought a lamp for 1200 rupees and uh, so the cost price is 1200 selling price is 2000 so and he gave discount on the selling price for 30 percent so 30 percent discount means he sold it for the 70 percent so he sold it for 70 percent and then again he gave a discount of 18 percent so that means on 2000 first he gave a discount of 30 percent that means he sold it for 70 percent of the original value and after that he further gave a discount of 18 percent that means he sold it for 82 percent of the total value so solving this equation the amount came out to be 1148 that means the shopkeeper uh, sold it at a price of 1148 and initially he bought it at a price of 1200 so that means he incurred a loss. So that means our answer will be out of these two options. So let's find out. So 1200 was the initial cost price for which he bought it. And finally he sold it for 1148. Which means he incurred a loss of 52 rupees. So now the question is asking us to find out the loss percentage. So to find out the loss percentage 52 divided by the cost price in 200 percent so that this came out to be 52 divided by 12 so 12 4 4 by 12 so this ratio is coming to us which is 4 1 by 3 so this is the percentage for which he sold it at a loss so this is loss because the selling price the final selling price is less than less than the cost price so our correct option would be option b so option b so next question is 15 men and 20 boys can complete a work in 15 days and 20 men and 35 boys can complete the same work in 10 days so we have 15 men and 20 boys so let's take some variables and some assumptions it is saying that 15 men and 20 boys can complete a work in 15 days. So let's assume that work done by work done by one man in one day equal to M and work done by one boy in one day is B. 
and it is saying that we are doing some work so let's assume total work to be w so based on these variables let's try to form some equations so we we are saying 15 men and 20 boys can complete a work in 15 days so 15 is the total number of men into work done by each man in per day plus we have 20 boys and work done by one boy in one day is b equal to the total amount of work divided by 15 because they are doing this work in 15 days so this became the equation for total work done in one day similarly let's make another equation 20 men so 20 m plus 35 b can complete a work in 10 days so again this became total work done in one day so let's equate the try to equate these equations so let's equate these equations with w so if i do let's multiply 15 by 15 which will give me 225 m plus 15 into 20 will give me 300 b it will and also equate this will be equal to w and solving this equation 200 m plus 350 b again will give me w so let's equate these two equations together so 225 m plus 300 b will be equal to 200 m plus 350 b so solving this equation let's bring it to this side 25 m will be equal to 350 sorry will be equal to 50 b so m by b will give me 50 by 25 which will give me 2 by 1 so it is asking me to determine the efficiency of boys with respect to men so it is asking me b is to m so b is to m will be 1 is to 2 b is to m so 1 is to 2 so correct answer will be option c 1 is to 2 So guys, if you are preparing for TCS NQT exam on our top me channel for code bashers, we have a dedicated study material for TCS NQT exam. So we have all the sections from the TCS NQT exam, be it verbal ability, numerical reason, numerical quantitative reasoning and along with the coding questions. So we have 200 plus verbal questions, quantitative questions, reasoning questions and coding questions. So along with the solved answer. So this is our first PDF. We have the questions along with the solved answer. Similarly, this is the verbal ability section. So we have the question along with the options and the solved answer. And this is our uh, logical reasoning PDF. So you can see the question along with their options and the correct answer. And this is our coding question. So we have the coding question along with the test cases or the example input. And we have the solved code for that particular question. So we have multiple questions along with the solved coding solution. You can find many questions along with their solutions. So if you are preparing the best place to prepare by solving the previous year question. So you can check out the code bashers top mate and you can buy and the link is in the description so the next question is saving of surekha are equal to 40 percent of her expenditure so let assume her expenditure to be 100 rupees so her savings will become 40 percent of 100 that will that will be 40 rupees if her income increases by 20 percent so let's uh, calculate her initial income so we all know income is equal to expenditure plus saving so income will come out to be 140 so we are saying her income increases by 20 percent so her new income will be 20 upon 100 of 140 plus 140 so this will come out to be 28 plus 140 so this will come out to be 168 so this is her new income and her expenditure increases by 40%. So new expenditure would be, earlier expenditure was 100, it increased by 40%.
सो इट बिकेम वन फोर्टी हर सैलरी हर सेविंग्स डिक्रीजेज बाय सो हर न्यू सेविंग्स विल बिकम हर सैलरी माइनस द एक्सपेंडिचर विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट सो न्यू सेविंग्स इज ट्वेंटी एट अर्लियर सेविंग्स वर फोर्टी सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द डिक्रीज सो ट्वेंटी एट डिवाइड बाय फोर्टी इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट सो इट इट इज आस्किंग अस टू कैलकुलेट द डिक्रीज सो डिक्रीज वुड बी फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी एट सो डिक्रीज इज ट्वेल्व बाय फोर्टी इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट सो डिक्रीज केम आउट टू बी थर्टी परसेंट सो डिक्रीज इज थर्टी परसेंट विच इज ऑप्शन बी सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इज द शॉपकीपर सोल्ड सम चेयर्स फॉर थ्री टू फोर जीरो एंड मेड अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट वॉट वुड बी द प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज इफ यू वुड हैव सोल्ड द चेयर्स फॉर टू सेवन एट वन सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट अ शॉपकीपर सोल्ड सम चेयर्स फॉर थ्री टू फोर एट तो दैट मीन्स सेलिंग प्राइस बिकेम थ्री टू फोर एट एंड ही इनकर्ड अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो वी ऑल नो कॉस्ट प्राइस प्लस प्रॉफिट इक्वल टू सेलिंग प्राइस so we don't know the cost price yet but we know that he incurred a profit of 20% so 20% on the cost price will become the selling price which is 3240 so this is the equation that is coming to us so by solving this equation we are getting 120 cost price upon 100 equal to 3240 by solving this we are getting cost price equal to थ्री टू फोर जीरो इन टू टेन डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व विच इज कमिंग आउट टू बी टू सेवन जीरो जीरो सो दिस इज आर कॉस्ट प्राइस सो नाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द कॉस्ट प्राइज नाउ ही सेंग फाइंड द प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज इफ ही वुड हैव सोल्ड इट फॉर टू सेवन एट वन सो कॉस्ट प्राइज वुड इज दिस सेलिंग प्राइज वी आर सेंग दैट इट विल इट इज नाउ टू सेवन एट वन सो नाउ द न्यू प्रॉफिट इज टू सेवन जीरो जीरो टू सेवन एट वन माइनस टू सेवन जीरो जीरो सो प्रॉफिट वी ऑल नो इज सेलिंग प्राइस माइनस द कॉस्ट प्राइस सो प्रॉफिट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी जस्ट एट्टी वन रुपीज सो नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज सो प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज वुड बी एट्टी वन बाय टू सेवन जीरो जीरो विच इज द इनिशियल कॉस्ट प्राइस इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट सो दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी थ्री परसेंट so option b so next question says if the average of five consecutive numbers is 27 so let's assume those five numbers to be x so next number would be x plus 2 because it is saying consecutive odd number so if num one number would be x next number would be x plus 2 x plus 4 and let's assume previous number to be x minus 2 and x minus 4 so these would be the five numbers whose sum would be uh, average would be 27 so let's uh, find out x minus 4 plus x minus 2 plus x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 divided by 5 equal to 27 so this is how you find out the average so as you can notice this is cancelling out Uh, each other and five x came out to be twenty seven into five, so x came out to be twenty seven. So now the numbers would be twenty seven, twenty nine, thirty one, and twenty five and twenty three. So these are the five numbers whose average would be twenty seven. so it is asking out to the sum of the largest number and the average so average already given to us 27 sum of the largest number 31 so it is coming out to be 58 so answer would be option d 58 so let's solve the next question next question says that the distance between two points is covered in 45 minutes it's if the speed of the car is reduced by 5 km per hour the new time taken is 48 minutes what is the distance between the two points so it is a fairly simple question 
सो वी हैव टू पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी वी नो स्पीड इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम सो स्पीड इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम इज गिवन टू अस एज फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स सो लेट्स कन्वर्ट दिस फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स इन टू आर्स सो इट विल बी फोर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी सो फोर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी विच विल बी विल बी डी इन टू सिक्सटी बाई फोर्टी फाइव सो दिस इज आर स्पीड नाउ द स्पीड इज रिड्यूस्ड बाई फाइव किलोमीटर सो रिड्यूस्ड स्पीड इक्वल टू वी अगेन हैव डिस्टेंस एंड देन वी हैव टाइम सो टाइम वुड बी डिवाइड बाई फोर्टी एट बाई सिक्सटी विच इज अगेन कमिंग आउट टू बी सिक्सटी बाई फोर्टी एट नाउ वी हैव दीज टू इक्वेजन्स नाउ इफ वी इक्वेट दीज इक्वेजन्स टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस लेट्स सॉल्व दीज टू इक्वेजन्स सो वी हैव स्पीड इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डी बाय फोर्टी फाइव and speed minus 5 60 by 48 d so let's equate these equations with distance so we have 45 by 60 s equal to 48 by 60 s minus 5 so let's cancel this 45 s equal to 48 s minus 48 into 5 so we have 48 into 5 equal to 3s and if i solve this we i have 16 so s equal to 80 so speed is coming out to be 80 we all know speed equal to distance upon time let's put it into this equation 80 equal to distance into 60 by 45 So let's cancel out eight by forty-five by six equal to distance. So distance is coming out to be. Let's solve this four and three. Let's solve this one and five. So distance is coming out to be sixty kilometer. So option C. So the next question is three bells ring uh, simultaneously at eleven a.m. They ring at the regular interval of twenty minute, thirty minute, and forty minute. At what time they will ring next together? So this is the very common question for LCM. So you must have studied about LCM. LCM is lowest, yeah, for least common multiple. So what it says that uh, we have three numbers twenty. Thirty and forty. So we have to calculate the least common multiple of these three numbers. Least common multiple is that number that will occur in the table of these all these three numbers. And if you read the question carefully, that would be the number that we need because that is the common number which is uh, coming in the table of all these three numbers, which is a multiple of all these three numbers. So how to find out LCM? so the most common way to find out lcm is uh, we can write 20 in the prime factors of 2 into 2 into 5 30 we can write in the prime factors of 3 into 2 into 5 40 we can write in the prime factors of 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 so what are the common numbers which is coming all in uh, we will take them only once so 2 is coming in all the 3 5 is coming in all the 3 and then whatever is left let's take them so it is 2 it is 3 again 2 and it is again 2 so if we multiply all these numbers we are getting 240 so 240 is the smallest number which is multiply which is the multiple of all these three numbers so bell, bell rang at 11 am 11 am and we got 240 minutes because these are all in minutes so 240 minutes means 2 hours So after eleven, the next two hours would be one p.m. So at one p.m., all these three bells will ring simultaneously. So the answer is option two.